So uh, during these few months that uh, a lot of us have been furloughed and uh, we've been stuck at home, um, I've had a lot of time to reflect on a lot of things and uh, one of them was um, the amount of trash that we produce on a daily basis. The amount of trash that my fiance and I produce, um, it's not necessarily a large amount, but nonetheless, uh, we can definitely do better. And um, what really got me thinking about this is that I kind of had to compromise into saying that I would have a child. So although I was very aware of um, the impact of that I'm having on the earth and you know my carbon footprint and whatnot, um, it really got me thinking like, hey, I'm bringing another individual into this world at some point and I definitely want to make it a better place, well, you know, as good as it can be for my child, for your child, for whoever has kids. So I'm going to show you guys a few of the products that I've switched over to um, instead of using things that aren't necessarily biodegradable or come in uh, plastic packaging, just stuff like that that I used and I wasn't necessarily, you know, paying attention like, hey, I can cut back on using these items or, you know, replacing them with stuff that is a little bit more eco-friendly. So one of the things that I um, saw while I was searching on Lush was this deodorant um, cube thing. So, um, I mean, what do we do with deodorant bottles once we are done with them? We kind of just toss them up, you know, into the trash and then what happens? So, um, this is the deodorant block. Um, it smells like patchouli and kind of minty. Um, but although it does come with this little bit of plastic, this is the cube, and it's gonna reduce the amount of plastic that I'm contributing to the trash uh, by not necessarily using a deodorant stick or what other kind of deodorants are there. I think that there's like spray-on deodorants or something like that. The next thing that I switched over to was to um actually this is shampoo bar um so this one i got at target and it was five bucks uh kind of smells like coconut um and it hasn't really damaged my hair so i like it so far um but i did also get a different shampoo bar which is this one this is also from lush um, now, I do know that Lush is kind of pricey, so um, this is an alternative. This is also the bag that I put the uh, shampoo in so it doesn't um, get all wet and stuff. And, like... um, so I also got my fiance um, a shampoo bar. He is on board with supporting me and reducing the amount of plastic that we're using um, so it's really awesome to have that support um, I also found a conditioner bar um, I haven't used it yet so I don't know what it's like I'm still trying to finish my conditioner that I have um, it smells good so we'll see how that goes um, hopefully it doesn't dry my hair out Another thing about the shampoo bar, um, the one that I currently have, I've had it for two months already and it's still a pretty decent size, um, so I'm assuming that it's going to last me for a few more months and I mean, thinking about it, it's like I reduced the amount of plastic that I'm using while with my shampoo and it's lasted me so, it's going to last me for a while and it's only five bucks, so I mean it's kind of cost efficient as well. I've also switched over from using any like bottle body washes over to bar soap and again I just put it the soaps in these like little um, loofah scrubby things and you know uh, I got these for five bucks and it was a pair of six um, so it acts as an exfoliant and as your body wash holder. So 
one thing that I had noticed um, I could probably switch over was um, my sponges for washing my dishes. So I actually just got these bamboo scrubs um, and I use my sponges until like they are ripping because I hate throwing something away when I can still kind of use it. So anyway, these, um, I've read reviews on them and it says that they last for a really long time and so I'm really hoping that they do last for a while and, you know, um, yeah, that's another switch that I made. While on the subject of washing dishes, I also purchased this, um, soap refill. Um, so, I need to figure out how to make my own dish soap. Um, this one, I do like the company. Um, they also make their containers out of 25% post-consumer um, plastic, so uh, that's cool. Um, it's still like, you know, there, there are certain things that are a little bit more difficult to switch over to. So I am working on researching how to make my own soaps and um, how to make like liquid soaps for my uh, dishes so hopefully if I'm able to figure it out um, what I'm hoping for is to be able to sell um, these items at a reasonable price uh, I don't necessarily I'm not looking to make a profit out of them um, it's more so to just get people engaged into using items that um, produce less waste so the last thing that I purchased, um, this is more so for ladies, um, so I got these applicator free tampons, um, I haven't used them yet, but I hate using the cart, like the cardboard or carton tampon applicators, they kind of hurt, and I hate using the plastic ones because it's just Having to waste money on feminine products already as it is, is just... Ugh. So, um, and then like just the amount of trash that they produce, the uh, wool tampons at least, um, you know, we have all these applicators that go, and I'm sure like there are some that like are a little bit more eco-friendly, but nonetheless, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try these out, so it, this is it. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not too sure, but I really, like I said, I'm just really trying to cut, cut back on the amount of trash that I produce on a day, like, you know, day-to-day -day basis. Um, anyway, I'm no expert on any of this by any means, but I am a little bit more aware of the things that I can switch over to um, rather than having a bunch of stuff that I use on a daily basis that produces a larger amount of waste than necessary. So in regards to the soap making, if any of you guys have um, any background on soap making and can fill me in on certain things, I'd really appreciate that. Um, like I said, it's I'm not looking to make a profit or anything. I really just want to like get stuff out there because you know, I want to reduce the amount of trash that we're producing on a daily basis and hopefully leave our kids behind in a world where they can thrive in and hopefully make it better. Um, produce little scientists and stuff. So anyway, that's that. Uh, again, no expert, just kind of aware of things that I've been able to switch over to. And that's it.